The images we see on the daily shape our society and culture, but the way we perceive those images is greatly influenced by journalism and media. Thankfully and unthankfully, people have instilled a reliance on the media to inform them, giving them only one perspective on a particular issue. This is very different than letting people interpret things for themselves. In short, media shapes perception. And does especially today with technology and science. Let's take a look into how media affects a progressive idea, global warming. In the article, Attack on Science, Media Use, Trust in Scientists, and Perception of Global Warming, three authors seek an answer to the question Is there a relationship between media use and public opinion on global warming? The answer they found was yes. There exists some relationship between media and public opinion. With trust in scientists being the most deciding variable in their experiment. These scientists took polls and surveys from varying news stations, ABC, CNN, Fox, NBC, and ranked all of those media outlets, outlets based on how conservative they were. Their findings primarily showed that, types of new, that type of news media was associated with trust in scientists. Early on in this article, these authors confirmed that previous studies have shown that trust in scientists is an important heuristic or determinant in the way people perceive science-related topics. From 2007 to 2010, there was a nationwide decrease in general trust among scientists, mainly because there was a greater spread in the way people receive their information, some sources being more conservative than others. This suggests that mainstream, liberal-leaning media coverage plays an important role in limiting the effects of climate um, in limiting the effects of climate skeptic movement. Their research on global warming brings up an even more significant point. As audiences continue to spread widely across various media outlets, this separation makes it harder to build a general consensus on anything, as seen here by the global warming article. In an ar another article we read, we learned about how media shapes the perception of science and technology technology for girls and women. In the STEM field, only 24% of engineers and scientists are female. This is due to the negative stereotypes that are retaining women to be attracted to the sciences and technology. Mass media like television, film, and digital contents plays role in reinforcing these stereotypes. The reality is that mass media influences how we develop our image of the world. A recent study shows that television gave young white boys positive self-esteem but brought down the self-esteem of young girls. Another study showed that if a woman saw a powerful woman in social media, it would decrease a woman's negative perception, but increase their leadership aspirations. The gender gap in the science and math field in the United States is correlated with the gender science stereotypes. The stereotype that women are bad at math and science, and math and science are fields for men. However, these stereotypes can, ch can be changed. Studies show that with providing girls and women with positive role models, it reduces stereotypical beliefs that mass media projects. Simple things like increasing textbook images in, video, in videos can help mitigate the stereotype of women in the science field. Other ways include depicting female characters in various STEM fields in a script or drama or comedies, or addressing more stories in, of real women in the STEM field. This article made us understand that individuals, not only women, adopt behavior changes based on observations seen in the mass media. In the blog, The iPhone Effect, Why Marketers May Overspend in Social Media Campaigns, we read about how a marketing campaign on social media persuade young consumers to buy the iPhone. The young consumers known as early adopters buy technology like the iPhone to improve their lives rather than excite their lives. However, others believe that our interests and pre preferences are highly correlated with our friends' personal interests. In this case, marketers are overspending in social media because Young consumers are influenced by both social media and their friends. That is all for this week. Thanks for watching.